Hi there, my name is Dr. Jules Cohen. I am a medical oncologist at Stony Brook School of Medicine, and I'm going to talk to you today about how to make cancer treatments work better and hurt less. Um, you may know that we not infrequently use chemotherapy to treat patients with breast cancer because chemotherapy kills breast cancer cells. However, uh, chemotherapy has a lot of side effects, and some of those side effects include nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, anemia, memory impairment, deterioration of skin and nails, and fatigue. And of course, chemotherapy, over time at least, takes a toll on quality of life. We also use hormonal therapy, or what's called anti-estrogen therapy, because uh, one, it's effective, and two, it has fewer side effects than chemotherapy. Um, the problem is, eventually, cancer cells will become resistant to uh, really any therapy, but hormonal therapy in particular, forcing us then to progress to use more toxic therapies like chemotherapy. So the ideal cancer drug would be a drug that had perfect efficacy and no toxicity. That essentially, you know, if you could cure breast cancer with a medication um, and have no side effects. But of course, that's predominantly wishful thinking at this point. One of the questions is, how do you make hormonal therapy work better? Hormonal therapy is, by definition, less toxic than chemotherapy and can be as effective, if not more effective, depending on the biology of the tumor. So here are some of the possible solutions. You can take two different hormonal therapies that work in different ways and use them at the same time so that they uh, have an additive or synergistic effect. In this case, we have a, uh, an estrogen receptor antagonist. There's, these are drugs like tamoxifen or fulvestrin, and we combine it with what's called an aromatase inhibitor. Uh, aromatase is the enzyme that uh, causes the manufacture or synthesis of estrogen, and, uh, and by blocking this enzyme aromatase, uh, the body makes less estrogen, and that's protective against breast cancer. Or we could add a drug that blocks cell division, and Adding this to hormonal therapy uh, makes the, the uh, hormonal therapy work better and last longer. You can see here the, uh, the benefit of using the CDK inhibitors uh, in conjunction with hormonal therapy. The drugs work better and last longer, and here are the three commercially available CDK inhibitors on the market in the U.S. So other possible solutions to make hormonal therapy work better include combining the hormonal therapy with so-called targeted agents. And uh, in terms of sort of basic cell biology, um, there is a kind of bucket brigade that, uh, that communicates between the surface of the cell and the nucleus of the cell. And essentially, one protein uh, passes the bucket to the next protein, passes the bucket to the next protein, and so on until it gets to the, to the nucleus and then causes the cell to grow and divide. And if we can block one of these proteins in this bucket brigade, that could help potentiate the benefits of hormonal therapy. So here's an example of one of the buckets that we can block. There's a, a protein called mTOR, and we have a drug called everolimus that inhibits mTOR. And when you combine M, uh, everolimus with hormonal therapy, it makes the hormonal therapy work better. Um, this is another example. There's a drug called alpelisib and it blocks a protein called PI3 kinase, a little higher up in the bucket brigade. And when you block the uh, protein PI3 kinase, it makes the hormonal therapy work better. However, alpelisib only works if it has a mutation in this PI3 kinase gene. So we have to test for it in the individual patients, and about 40% of patients with hormonally sensitive breast cancer will have a mutation in this gene and uh, make them candidates for treatment with alpelisib. How can you make chemotherapy less toxic? You could attach it to a homing device. And this type of drug is called an antibody drug conjugate. And it makes use of a molecule called an antibody that normally we use to fight infection that science has appropriated for the treatment of cancer. And this antibody targets uh, particular proteins on cancer cells with exquisite specificity. And it is connected via a linker molecule to uh, a chemotherapy drug and it delivers that chemotherapy drug directly to the cancer cell with a minimum of toxicity to the healthy tissues around it. So here are two examples of uh, commercially available antibody drug conjugates for the treatment of breast cancer. Um, and again, it concentrates the chemo in the cancer cell and minimizes exposure to the healthy tissues. 
on the left is a drug called Cadsila. It targets HER2 nu, which is overexpressed on about 20% of breast cancers. And these are the so-called HER2 positive breast cancers. And it's uh, the drug trastuzumab, the antibody that targets HER2, and it's conjugated to a chemotherapy molecule, delivering that chemotherapy molecule directly to the HER2 positive breast cancer cell with a minimum of toxicity to the surrounding cells. The other drug that we're, that's depicted here is called Tridelvi. This is very recently approved by the FDA, um, and this targets a, uh, a protein called TROPE2, which is seen on triple negative breast cancer cells. And again, it delivers a chemotherapy molecule directly to those cells, kills those cells uh, with, with exquisite specificity, and uh, minimizes collateral damage to the healthy tissues around it. So in conclusion, we need a delicate balance between efficacy and toxicity. Um, we need targeted treatments designed to destroy the cancer cell with minimal collateral damage to the healthy tissues around it. And uh, we have learned a lot about cancer in the last 10, 20, 30 years. Um, and these are all the different mechanisms by which cancer can grow and develop and, and that represent particular uh, therapeutic targets. Um, we, so we are learning more and more how to attack cancer's vulnerabilities. There's still, of course, a lot more work to do. But on the whole, cancer treatment is getting less scary and helping more people live better. Thank you so much. Please submit your questions to coe at stonybrookmedicine.edu.